and welcome to your speech sound program. Today we're going to be focusing on hearing the difference. So this is the sound that your child is producing and the correct sound production that we want them to achieve. So we've got three games here today. These are activities you might have at home or you might have similar games just to give you examples of different ways to practice because with speech work it's all about drilling so it's going to be really repetitious and quite boring <laughs> for you and your child. So by playing different games we help to keep the energy levels up and keep the excitement going. So very simple, you don't need any games or activities for this. This can be done anywhere at home, in the park, on the way back from school or nursery is a high five. And this is a very positive way to indicate to your child that they're not actually saying the word correctly. So we want to avoid saying no or asking them to correct their speech sounds because they're not going to be able to do it. We're at the first stage, which is hearing the difference. And there are several stages before a child can achieve the speech sound production correctly in conversational speech. So, high five, very simple. If a child, for example, is saying tat for cat, you might then just put up your two hands as a high five and just stop them go, oh, did you mean cat? And emphasize your mouth, cat or tat. Hmm. Now, hopefully your child will high five cat. Even though they can't say the word yet, they're able to hear the difference. And that's what we're achieving. It's not about production from the mouth. It's about them hearing it, hearing the difference. Now, obviously you don't want, you can't be doing that all day um, because it would drive you and your child mad as they were trying to have a conversation with you. So aim for at least three to five times a day. Very functional time to do this is meal times, breakfast, lunch, and dinner over the table while you're having something to eat. And they might bring up a tat as a cat. Just pause and say, oh, was that cat or tat? And help them to high five. If they don't high five the right one, bring your hand down, keep the one that's a cat up and just go like this, oh, cat, cat, just so they can start to hear the correct production of the word. So three different games then. You've got the high five that you can take out and about with you and three games that we have here to again help with hearing the difference. So first one, my favourite, and you'll have seen it um, a lot used, the post box. So here we have quite an oversized post box and this is very simply getting lots of different letters and it's about the child hearing the correct sound. So pile of letters in front of your child. I'll move this one out of the way so games aren't confused. So post box, lots of lovely letters. And you'll say to your child, now when I say the sound, and you might be working on, say you're working on D, and your child is saying G, so gog for dog, but you want them to, be, to hear D, you're just going to get them to listen for the sound, D, dog. And every time they hear it correctly, they're going to post a letter. For example, gog, dog. Very good. Now, if your child is saying, again, my example is tafaka, so tap for cats, you might say the word three times, but with the right production once. So, for example, tat, tat, cat. So it should be on the third one that they listen and they post. If you say tat, tat, and they post on the second, just bring them back and say, oh, high five. Was it cat or tat? I said, I said tat. Let's listen for the k sound cat and they go for posting another game for hearing difference can be played through pop-up pirate so here you want the child to hear the correct sound so for example if they're saying b instead of p every time they hear the correct sound p made you want them to raise their hand for example b b p then they can grab a sword and place it in the pirate. Off you go again. B, P. Hand up, they get the correct piece and they can put it in the pirate. To extend this, you could also start to cover your mouth so they cannot see your mouth production. So that it really is concentrating on hearing the sound. B, B, P. They can choose a sword. Now, 
One final game suggestion, and you can be using what you have in your house, as well as the activities we've shown you today, is through lily pads. Now I'm obviously sitting down, so I'm just gonna show you on the floor level, but for example, different colored pieces of paper can represent lily pads, for example, and you can place them all around your room or your garden. And the idea is that when the child hears the correct sound, they can either jump, on the spot or throw a board on the spot themselves. So again, very much like the pop-up pirate, you can say the sounds and once they detect the correct one that they're learning, for example, p, they're hearing the difference between the sound they are making, b, and the sound they need to say, p, you could do this through the lily pad game. So, b, b, p, and then they can either throw the ball or jump on the correct lily pad and then run around the garden. So, b, b, jump onto the next lily pad. And again, to increase it so that they can start to really hear the difference, they're not relying on your mouth, cover your mouth with your hand. B, b, p, <gasps> jump on the next lily pad. Have fun. Once your child has mastered set hearing the difference between the sounds that they are making and the sounds that they need to learn, you then will move on to saying the sounds in isolation. So your Nuala professional will have assigned your child the sounds that they're saying video, along with the advice and strategy sheet to your profile on the Nuala Hub. Please have fun practicing this week and any questions or any advice needed at any point, please do contact your Nuala professional via the Hub.